Hashuka, honoring our ancestors and future generations. A long time ago, people said we could not speak our native languages. In school, if you spoke your native language, you would have to write, I will not speak Indian a hundred times. Times are changing and times have passed. People like Elizabeth Pradovich and Martin Luther King Jr. inspired native people to embrace our cultures and speak our languages. In modern days, we want to learn our languages and we want to teach our children. I will speak Shinket, I will speak Khadkil, I will speak Samalgyach, I will teach Shinket, I will teach Khadkil, I will teach Samalgyach. I love my language. I am living our cultural values. Hashuka, honoring our ancestors and future generations. I what? The cultural values are so important. The cultural values are in your heart. You feel them, you know them. Like my brother died two years ago in Huna, and he was one of the clan leaders. This fall, on October 14th of this fall, I'm going to put on the Kuik, which is the memorial party for him in Huna. It's really um, hard to put it all on and a lot of our leaders have died and consequently um, the younger people are the ones that are having to do it and getting there's only a few that really know what the cultural values and um, our culture requires of us and so I really feel I have to have the party now because we're going to lose a couple more this year and I'm getting pretty old too. <laughs> and you know, you don't know how long you're going to last, but we have to take care of the culture. The culture requires that because my brother was a clan leader. And that's Hashuka, taking wisdom from the past, learning it in a manner that allows you to become an expert, and then the strong responsibility to pass on that knowledge to the next generation. You think of how our, our language uh, was built up, how our arts were built up, how we could you know, weave a basket that was watertight, how we could make bent wood boxes. It, 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 it's an amazing value that allowed us to improve our culture for 10,000 years. And I think it's one that anybody can take on as a value and really help their life as well. Hashuka is probably the value that really allowed us to live in Southeast Alaska for 10,000 years. Our elders used, used that number. They said we've been here for 10,000 years. How, how would they, I mean, how does an oral tradition, I mean the concept of 10,000 years is is crazy, but it was just proven that we have lived here by science for 10,000 years. And Hashuka is one of the key values that allowed us to do that. I, I often think of my own, my own child, my own daughter, uh, you know, for past, present, and present, and future. You know, I, I, I consistently go back to the thought of, you know, as we you know, inherit our past from our ancestors and we borrow it from our children you know the things that we do today are that much more important and it requires that uh, and that consistent focus and refocusing of that is is something that helps direct some of uh, direct my actions uh, so keeping that in mind and consistently keeping that in mind to make them habits. Um, you know, that will help not only you, but it will help sustain our culture, um, you know, for, uh, from moving forward. Yeah.